Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. I'm getting ready for chapel with our pre-K students this morning. And our lesson this week is about Zacchaeus. You know, there are so many things we can talk about with this lesson. First of all, we know that he's short, right? He can't see above the crowd. Second of all, we know that Zacchaeus is a tax collector. And the Jewish people hated tax collectors for two reasons. First of all, they were seen as traitors. The tax collectors were Jewish citizens, and it was their job to collect money from their own people and then give it to Rome. And Rome was the enemy. They didn't want to support Rome. Rome was a foreign occupier. And these tax collectors worked for Rome. So they were traitors to their own people. The Jewish people also hated tax collectors because not only did they take money and give it to Rome, but they also took extra money and kept it for themselves. They'd be dishonest. They'd use their power to take more money than they should have taken and they'd keep it for themselves. So they were quite wealthy at the expense of their neighbors, of their own people. So Zacchaeus is a tax collector. He'd be labeled as a sinner by his own people, would have been hated by the Pharisees, Sadducees, by pretty much everyone who was Jewish. Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and one day Jesus comes to Jericho. And Zacchaeus has heard about Jesus. He wants to see Jesus. But there's this huge crowd following Jesus. And Zacchaeus is short. And he can't see above the crowd. So he finds a sycamore fig tree. And Zacchaeus climbs up to the top of that tree. And now he can see Jesus. And as Jesus is walking by, much to Zacchaeus' surprise, Jesus stops, looks up and says, Oh, Zacchaeus! There you are. Come down from that tree. I need to come to your house today. And Zacchaeus at once rushes down from the tree. He doesn't know why Jesus has uh, singled him out, but he'll happily have Jesus over to the house. And Jesus goes to Zacchaeus' house. And here's the, the point, the takeaway, is that the Pharisees, the Jewish leaders, they're upset. They're mad. Zacchaeus is a sinner. Why would Jesus enter the house of a sinner? And the whole point of this is that Jesus came for sinners. We're all sinners. And Jesus came for us. To love us. To forgive us. To save us. At Zacchaeus' house, Jesus proclaims Zacchaeus' sins forgiven. And Jesus claims your sins forgiven too. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who's come into this world to forgive sins, to claim us as your own, to save us. Teach us, Lord, to come to Jesus and receive his gifts. In your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your day. I hope to see you tomorrow.